Hello YouTubers, modellers, guys. Alright, this is the another quick update on the double MIG build. That's the MIG-19 Farmer by Tamiar and the MIG-21 Fishbed by Tamiar, both in 1 to 100 scale. Uh, last night, I managed to get the main the main coat, the main silver, the top coat done. You can see here and get the decals on. Just for a little variation, I chose the North Vietnamese decals for the 21 and the East German, the ex Warsaw packed one for the farmer. Both those strange NATO code names of the time. Um, yeah, so that was a good, good little effort last night. There's uh, still quite a lot to do. Actually, what we're talking about, there isn't a lot to do. I've just basically got to get the undercarriage. I've got to touch up around the, uh, the canopy areas into the cockpit. That needs repainting around there. So this area here needs repainting. And the same on the other one. That's got to be touched up. I'm also trying to break up the almost two uniform silver by just changing the tones. Let me show you that. By just changing the tones of the panel lines. So some are, some are slightly, sorry not the panel lines, the actual wing panels, the wing panels there. So um, some are actually slightly darker in tone than the other areas. It's just to break it up slightly, just make it a little bit more interesting, so slightly more varied. Um, so we should have that done in a day or two. Incidentally, when you're using these paints, you only need the smallest drop. Just a little touch to put in your put in your paint tray like that because these paints are now getting expensive and you really don't want to waste them especially if you're not on much pocket money guys because I know there's a lot of you out there want to start modeling or have just started modeling and you're all on low budgets so just watch what you do with the paints because really before you know it they're all gone and you've got to fork out another three or four pounds just for a small tube another little tip I've actually taken the parts that I've got to uh, attached to the aircraft, I've taken them off the sprue and I've put them in this little tray here. That's to avoid losing them. You can actually weight it. This is an ex fruit, just a plastic fruit tray. It's a very good idea to collect some of these, it costs you nothing. You know, if you're buying this food anyway, or your parents are buying this food anyway. Anyway, it keeps all the parts together and it's free. What you can do actually is wait underneath it with some blue tack because some of these pieces of plastic are quite light. You don't want to, you know, knock it off the table and then lose the parts, which was the idea of putting them in there in the first place. Okay, guys, I'm going to take a quick break and then later on we'll do a little a spot of painting on these two small birds here. So, I'll see you soon. Alright, what we're going to do now is I want to touch up a few of the wing panels that I've painted. They might look okay from a distance, they're not too bad, but what we've got here is a few too many visible brush strokes which for a certain type of canvas that might be quite pleasing but you don't want too many brush strokes on a model aircraft so I've mixed up over here with some thinner 
touch of silver and another darker silver. It's amazing what passes for silver these days. This Humbrol silver is actually a lot darker. It's more like a a very dull aluminium really. In fact a much better silver is this System 3 acrylic plus De La Rowney. That's a really nice silver. I'll show you. That's the difference there. It's more like a proper silver, whatever proper silver is. So, what I shall do is just touch a little bit of the thinner. So I've got a lighter silver there. Clean that off, clean that brush off, and I'll just put a touch, it's enough in the lid of the darker silver. So that's the humbrol, I'm mixing the, the humbrol silver with the lighter silver. Just so I get a, a more of a medium tone, so it's not too grey, otherwise, the panels, the danger is the panels will end up looking too grey which on a highly battered aircraft is probably quite apt, but most weren't like that, I don't think, not really battered. When weather-worn, I think we all tend to, at times, overdo the weathering on planes. We can do anyway. So, here we are on the little the MiG-19. There's quite a lot of... Uh, touch these areas up quickly longer. It's a very thin coat. It's not a thick a thick coat. It's just to hide some of the brush strokes. If you go over the panel lines you can actually if you wet just slightly wet the edge of a sharp cocktail stick you can actually gently take the excess paint out of the areas where you don't want it to go. That's very useful to, to know that because it's a very cheap and effective way sorry you can't really see there but it's a cheap and effective way of removing unwanted paint without damaging your aircraft damaging your model So that's what we do, just to give the overall model a little bit more texture and variation. And the same with the fuselage areas as well, we'll do the fuselage and the wings. But uh, I've got to do some more work on this, because so it needs tidying up a bit, a bit of cleaning up. Uh, hey presto. Okay. Well, thanks. thanks for watching out there, guys, and anyone else <coughs> who's interested. And the next, the next video will be the finished, finished models. Bye for now.